A value stream is all the actions required to deliver a product or service to a customer. The value stream map provides a picture of the material and information flow through a system. The iGraphics Lean VSM diagram type provides you with functionality to quickly and easily create any value stream map. In order to access the template that you would need in order to create a value stream map, simply click on the new document icon at the top left hand corner of the screen and you'll be presented with a dialog box. From there you can choose value stream map and be presented with your template. One of the first things that you will do when creating a value stream map is to determine what your customer demand is. By double clicking on the customer demand box in the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll be presented with an area in which you can determine how many hours per shift, how many breaks or minutes per shift, how many shifts you have per day, how many days per week, and how many days per month work is performed. If you'd like to modify this information, simply click on the use custom checkbox and you can create any variation of this information. In addition to this, you will also be able to determine what your tack time is. You can do this by either entering customer demand or entering tack time. For example, if we were to state that our customer demand was 9,600 pieces, you would see that the tack time would automatically modify to 60 seconds. Whereas if we were to make the tack time 45 seconds, you would see that based upon the information that has been inputted in the available work time area, we could see that the customer demand has increased to 12,800 pieces. Also in this dialog box is a timeline tab. If you would like to show a distance line, then all you'd have to do is click on the show distance line checkbox. There's also a graph tab. If you would like to show a work balancing graph, then all you would have to do is click on show work balancing graph and the graph would then appear at the bottom of the screen. As information was placed in the process boxes, then you would be able to be told via the graph whether or not you are meeting tack time or not. In order to add data to any of these elements, all you have to do is click and type. For example, if we wanted to state that this was a control area, all we have to do is click and type control. You'll notice that process boxes are listed here and inventory triangles. If you'd like to affect the data that is behind this, you simply double click and input the data. For example, if we wanted to state that this process began with 200 pieces of inventory, once we click OK, you'll notice that it's going to automatically be converted to minutes and it's automatically going to be added to the timeline. If you wanted to add additional data to the actual process boxes, you double click on the process box and here you can state what your cycle time is how much of that is value add versus non-value add time, whether there is a defect rate percentage, how many operators you have, what your changeover time is, your uptime availability, and your distance traveled, which would then appear on your distance travel line. Once you click OK, you'll notice that the data box will appear, and you'll also be able to see how that process relates to the TAC timeline that is in your work balancing graph. If you would like to add more shapes to your VSM diagram, at the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna notice the most commonly used shapes used in a VSM map. If you would like to add some more process boxes, then you simply click on process boxes, and with a clicking and dragging motion, you will be able to add a process box, an inventory triangle, and you can connect shapes just like that. You'll notice that as information is added to the actual process boxes, all the information is going to automatically be accumulated for you at the end of the timeline and distance line. If you would like to add a sub VSM diagram, one that would be a child of the parent VSM diagram, you would simply click where you would want that child to live. You would right click, click add VSM diagram. After naming it, you would be presented with a second VSM diagram and by clicking the back button, you would notice a shading effect that would let you know that there is a VSM diagram that lives beneath here that will be a child of this main process box. As information is inputted on that VSM diagram that lives below, 
then all of that information would be accumulated in this data box, which in turn would be accumulated in the data box at the end of the timeline and distance line. After inputting your information, by clicking, dragging, and by adding some more shapes that are going to be listed in the right hand side in the shape palette area, for example, by adding a truck, just like that, you'll be able to create a value stream map.